uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh beat. community have the most cancerous community out of all, every card game I've played. But moving on to Yu-Gi-Oh! 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 Where to start? Where to end? This is Yu-Gi-Oh! The heart of the cards! <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! I think, like, the best summary I can give to Yu-Gi-Oh! is that Konami realized they can't fix the game at this point. So they're like, how far can we take it and how much money can we squeeze out before people just stop playing? Let's try. And well, just people have already really stopped with the actual card game. Everyone's on Duel Links now. No, no, no. The, 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 surprisingly, card games statistically, again, it's growing. People, new people are getting into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I can I can get our era. People well, who, it, it's who watch the hard. shows. Who watch the shows. Like, first Yu-Gi-Oh, GX, 5Ds. Like, these core people I get if they get into the game. But new people who don't who does not know that Yu-Gi-Oh had a show, they just jump to the game and keep, they play. The reason is it's so accessible. It has good it has good art, good characters. It's it's by far the most. It's so accessible because it's cool. Like you know, people don't want to bully you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh. They want to play Yu-Gi-Oh with you because it's cool. Here's my problem. Every mechanical problem we've discussed in Yu-Gi-Oh! over this podcast and others are, is fine. The thing I really dislike about Yu-Gi-Oh! The thing that made me quit it is not the card mechanics. It's not the game getting too complicated. Price. It's not the power creep. It's not the price. It's the people who will play the fucking game. They're Smash Bros. <laughs> players. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Beat. community have the most cancerous community out of all, every card game I've played. Magic are elitists, but you know, besides that, they're they're cool, they're okay, they're regular people, right? Yu-Gi-Oh had to impose a cleanliness rule in their fucking tournament rules because the people are just so fucking dirty. Yeah, and if you smell so thing. bad, you get a, you get a, you get DQ'd. <laughs> Disqualified, you smell so bad. Yep. Like, it's in the rule book. <laughs> It's in the rule book. <laughs> Wait, the actual rule book that yes. like comes, with, comes with stutter yeah. decks? No, no, no. Yep. The, the, the rule book for tournament. Oh, the tournament. The tournament. Yes. Rule. I thought it like yes. actually came in like the starter deck that kids. No, no, no. Not the one with the deck. No, you no. Have, wash your. <laughs> no, you you do it. Do it. The Yu-Gi-Oh community is something else, dude. I enjoy I it so it. much. Because I I never go to locals, so I guess dude, I just never see that. You stuff. don't need to. You don't need to. There is a Facebook group group called the Zodiac Duelists. It's the core, the soul of Yu-Gi-Oh community worldwide. You, you you got Americans, Europeans, Arabs, Japanese, Nambanese, everybody collectively inside this shithole. Zodiac Duelist Facebook group. Mm, the most amazing drama, everything. They, they're racist. They're sexist. They're SJWs. They're, they're, they suck. They, they they do everything. It's just amazing. It's just it's, it's one just, of the the, the the eighth world wonder. To me, it's very difficult to find a Yu-Gi-Oh player who's actually just a regular human being. Yo. I find it extremely difficult. Anybody who's really into Yu-Gi-Oh is never a regular human being. You it's remember always... our dueling yeah. area days? Yes. I do. It, it, we, it, we bonded. We bonded. Like I met Trillion in a in a dueling area. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh shop. We bonded over the fact that we are that we can talk something else other than Yu-Gi-Oh. This is how we we met. Like we start. We were playing. Oh, you play Monarch. I play Monarch too. Let's have a game. And we, we were playing. We're talking, talking, talking. Do you play chess? And we brought chess board into the thing, and we started playing chess. Okay, well, okay. Well, then we're it's, then. Uh, rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah, it's just the fact that in this sea of fucking cancer, we found one person who's just a regular guy you can hang out with. Do they have you know? can do they have Yu-Gi-Oh cancer in Kuwait too? Oh yes, oh, yeah. of course. Oh yeah. Oh, full full on cancer. Full on cancer. Like 
Like, even the store owner is cancelled. Everybody is cancelled. Do they ever there. have people who... Do they over, ha, over, ever have any, like, um... Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh is haram, Yu-Gi-Oh is shaitan... Yeah, of Yu-Gi-Oh. course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, dude. <laughs> of course. So We have these people all over. All over. Dude, there are... Dude, there are Christians who believe like the Pokemon is the devil. There are Muslims who believe Pokemon is is uh, I'm Jew. Like it's, it's everywhere. It's I mean, that everywhere. was worldwide with Pokemon. Every everyone thought it was a plot to like in mind control children. Well, it's worked. Yeah. <laughs> it's worked. <laughs> 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 like but, you, eh? <laughs> but but uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, it's, it's just. To me, it's always impressive. Every time I went to that place and I talked to somebody on a topic outside of Yu-Gi-Oh, they feel like physically weirded out. Like they're, they're they become physically, physically they're uncomfortable. T- and and I'm not I'm not talking like I'm, uh, I did not discuss like modern politics. I was talking about another game. <laughs> I like strategy games. Do you play strategy games? Yeah. No. Uh, what? Something not Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Anxiety kicks set. It's so fucking weird. And then you have that, you know, those guys who I'm like, I'm playing, like, I used, to, I always play rogue decks. It's my thing, right? So I, I'm playing a rogue deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Back then it was Monarchs before they got powered, like, uh, powered up. And um, somebody would look at me and say, why are you playing Monarchs? Because I like Monarchs. He's, and, he, and then he was like, "Me, I only play decks that ha- that make me win. So it's <laughs> not fun if I if, if the deck doesn't help me win." And I Fucking looked at him, up. and I'm like, "And I'm like, cool, but it's also about having fun and seeing whether you can build something that uh, that lose? works and competes." Did yeah, he, I don't I don't know, but <laughs> I. I but it's his ment- it's his mentality. I have to play the most powerful thing because I need to impose myself on these dorks. But it's the mechanics of the game that's around no, this mentality. And everybody there, too. everybody there. It's 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 amazing at the same time. But we call these we still call them deck. Even uh, we don't call them the Arabic word for deck, which is majmua. We call them deck. We call it deck. It's it's just we use that term very very much. It's simple. But, uh, yeah, it's simple. Yep. And but our people in 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 in, in, the, in the dueling area they use uh, very slightly. Oh uh, yes. When I first when I first came, went there, I was he was like, uh, "Warni dick kick." What? <laughs> uh, what? Do I... uh, it, imagine dick with the extra K dick. Your deck. Did you do it, Tassis? Yeah. I was did like, you uh, uh, Did you do it? <laughs> the king, you why are you? <laughs> I was like, okay. I I I paused for a second, and he, I, I was just I just came from the United States to Kuwait, it's like 2014. Like he went what? Dick, dick, cornea. <laughs> uh, Gabundi man, fucking exactly. That's why I play rogue, rogue decks all the time. It's because if you actually win with a rogue deck, to me, it's more of an accomplishment than winning a tournament. Hey man, hey, hey man, the heart of the cards. You gotta play for what speaks to you. Yeah. Yes, the, yes. The, the word dick is everywhere there. Dicky. Oh yes. Oh, I'm dick kick. My dick is stronger than your dick. Your <laughs> dick is weak. Your dick is non meta. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the one that got me. My dick is meta, your dick is not. <laughs> <laughs> that basically just means they were stupid enough to waste more money than you. Yeah. No, no, the worst thing is that they're not self-conscious. It's not like they say it and it's like there's an inside Sorry, joke. Yeah, well, and no, yeah. no. Yeah. It's, they, it's just, it's, there's the serious face. It's what get you. <laughs> your dick. My dick. Dude, oh, why why do you play this dick? It's just it's it doesn't win anything. And you're like, and your head's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> but in his head it's not going. Uh, 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 uh. And that's that that hurts. That hurts me. That's so that's bad. like so expensive though, because the meta changes all the time. So you basically have to buy and learn and master Dude, a new deck all the time. You have to know people in Kuwait have no no problem paying most of the popularity are above average average to above average when it comes to economy income population yeah. so they can yeah, yeah. population people whatever yeah. Yeah. they are above it. average so 
They can't afford Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I mean, I don't get it because, like, Konami, like, the what I like is they're giving so much support to older cards and older mm-hmm. metas from the original series and GX, especially the original and GX, and a little bit of 5Ds, but no one plays them. It's like... It's like you give this a chance. Like you can make you can make some really good classic decks now with all the support Konami's been releasing these past couple of years for older cards. Like all the new no Dark Edition cards, new Blue Eyes cards. Dude, like, all about the winning. Chaos, the Chaos Max deck. Like come that's such a good card. Double piercing damage. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's so much fun to pull off. Big dragon go boom! Yo, big dragon bro. No, I, 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 here's- Here's another thing about Yu-Gi-Oh, like, now that you mentioned that them keep printing support. One of the big problems I find with Yu-Gi-Oh is that they did not find any solution for power creep. Their solution for power creep is make more, more power creep, right? And it's a very easy solution. Stop filtering cards. And because you're filtering cards, you can reprint these cards with less powerful effects for the new format and keep refreshing these cards. And that way people buy more, but um the game doesn't get out of whack there are what how many cards are there now did we reach eight thousand yet there's too know. many cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. yep and it needs to be checked i'm not saying they should like do uh, uh, like a standard rotation the way magic does but quick like you know learning for your past lessons reintroducing a new a new box saying the old everything else is legacy now um would help would be a would just refresh the game and make it interesting again and you can like introduce people effectively back to it instead of okay here is the holy book of Yu-Gi-Oh mechanics it's 500 pages long you need to study it and then you get you can even you can even consider entering a tournament with the intention of winning there's no point you know Instead, no, they, they, they make an abbreviation. Graveyard is now GUI, so you have more space in, in, in the card text. text so you can... Oh, yep. yeah, card text, card text creep, card text creep. Too much. It's a bit too much. Um, but it, yeah. It's like, to a point where people don't even bother reading effects to each other anymore just because it takes so much time to just actually do the effects anyway. That's how, that's how people cheat in tournaments. Oh yeah, people do it, and and I I know a guy who was, who was boasting about, it, who was like, I cheat against this guy in this event. Like they went to an event outside, uh, in in like America or something. He went against an Asian dude who doesn't speak English, and he cheated on him, and he was like proud of that. But he got caught. No, because no, that cause... dude did not, not did not know the card, and he, even if the judge he said the judge was watching me. But the judge could not do anything because the other guy did not report it. So it's okay. He's okay with it. So judges can only make action if one of the players says anything. Exactly. Yep. So you can take yeah. advantage of language barrier. Yes. Pretty much. It's pretty much. And it's a problem. It's generally a problem. But let's enough about Yu-Gi-Oh. We know we know Yu-Gi-Oh is horrible. We've we've already discussed this multiple times. I'll always let's do... like it. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I yeah, always it's... do. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I still have my decks all over. I still I cherish them. I, I I still buy cards. But no, I will not play outside my circle. I will play with Trillion. I'll play with some other friends. Because you guys can make up a reasonable rule set and play the play from a time when it was still good. Yeah.